I know I say it a lot, and I, I feel like I can't say it enough. I think our nonprofits, um, the fact that we have the strong ones that we do, make us very special. They're very important to all of our events that we have. They have brought many things to the town. So to me, that's very special. Our walking trail, which was built by one of our nonprofits, um, that's unique to us. And um, I think it's getting a lot of use too. It's getting a lot of use. And our rec center, you know, we converted the armory into a rec center where you can buy a membership and work out. You know, our rec sports are played there, the basketball and volleyball and all that. So that's very unique for a small town. So to me, those are my three things, my go-to when people come to town and I take them for a ride around town and show them things, I'm, I'm going to show them those three things. It's been a busy year. What What do you think a couple of the most important things that happened in the city this year? A big deal is that $9 million grant we got for the upgrading our water and sewer system. That's, you know, that's, that's a real big deal to us. We'll be able to, um, that'll help the new housing that we have coming in. Um, or that have had come in, so that that's that, that's going to help us tremendously. And what? Tell me about the housing. How's the housing market looking here? It's it's good. We've we've put in 33 new home taps. We've got seven on on the way, um, and all of these are individual homes. It's it's not any subdivisions that are being built. This is all just individual homes everywhere, and they when they get built, they're they're sold pretty quick. So it's pretty strong. Well, that's going to add to the town. That's easier to manage, too, when mm -hmm. it's, it's individual homes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it? It is. It's a lot easier to manage. Um, and we do have a project going at our J.C. Ballpark. We have a fish pond over there that a, a group has teamed up with us. They actually approached us about um, revitalizing it. And we put in, I think, 10 grass carp about a month ago. And hopefully they'll get their job done and... Um, it, it's the hope is for it to be a, an interactive pond where where classrooms can come and learn about fish, learn about how important water is to the environment. It, it's really a neat project. It's really early in the stages, and we're just kind of they came to us, so we don't have a whole lot of information about it other than they're excited about getting that pond renovated, ready to fish again kind of an outdoor school area. So I'm I'm real excited about that. I think it's, you know, people, I think, take for granted fishing. And there's a lot of people in the world that don't have a place to go to go fish. And I think that's going to be a really neat addition to, to the town is getting that, that pond back in operation. Any other big, big economic news from this year in Belton? Well, you know, the housing certainly helps our economics. Um, the um we have a coming in 2024 eastern engineered wood products they're coming in they bought a piece of property on the railway um and we we're going to meet with them soon as far as knowing how many jobs they're going to have job opportunities but that's a pretty big get that we've gotten um there's one other business out there that we're trying very hard to find them a piece of property that will be very exciting if we pull that off. Hopefully we can get that done, but that's two exciting things we have going on. And just outside the city limits, um, there's a plastics company that is um, investing six million and we'll have 24 new jobs. So that's right on our city limits. That's a job opportunity for somebody. How about established businesses? Are they doing pretty well, have a pretty good year, you think? They are. Um, we've actually had probably about nine new businesses in the last year. A couple of them have sold and reopened. You know, somebody's bought them and 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 reopened them. Um, but it's it's kind of it's very steady. It's you know it's very steady. Everything is you know nothing huge, big at one time. Just steady, steady going. You mentioned recreation. How is that the the children's program, the other rec programs, tennis? How is how what kind of year do they have in twenty twenty three? Very good year. We are just busting at the seams at a rec department. We really are. Um, we've taken on volleyball, which has been very successful with the with the um, young ladies, and um, that's been huge. Um, tennis is always big. Rex Maynard, you know, he works so hard that, for all that. 
Um, and on, on that note, we, we do have a plan for six new pickleball courts, hopefully coming in the next year. Um, that'll help with recreation. You know how big that is right now. So we're finally in a position to get, get that rolling. Um, we have um, another type of recreation. We, we've got new paving and a new boat ramp going at our kayak launch. That'll be the next phase of that place. So um, that should be a big deal for that area and draw a lot of hunters and fishers and kayakers there. But um, yeah, we'll have a, um, a paved boat ramp, which will be new, and then the parking will be paved. And you had a pretty busy year for events uh, this year. Was, was it busier than usual or just pretty much the standard stuff? Um, pretty time? much the same. Had our downtown sounds. Um, we recently won a grant to add downtown movie night. So that that's going to be fun too. We haven't quite got those dates and details worked out, but we did win the money to be able to rent some really good movies and do some, some more fun things downtown. And the, the big festivals all seem to go pretty mm -hmm. well this year. They went well and we're on track to do them again, you know, the South Carolina Chili Cook-Off and our Standpipe Festival. Just had our Christmas parade. You were there, saw you there. Um, that was a big hit. We got real lucky on our weather. You know, we put it off for, that, for our football team um, and ended up being the right thing to do, and we, we ended up hitting the right date. The football team almost got there. They almost got there. They, they will. They'll, they'll get there. We're real proud of them. We were, of course, pulling for them. Are there any small things people may have missed that you wanted to let people know happened in Belton this year? Mainly the downtown movie night grant that we got. And, and we do have a, um interactive trail coming to our walking trail where you can walk the trail. There will be different little um, stages down the trail. You use your phone, scan it, and it's like little interactive things you can do as you walk the trail. And it connects you to a whole system of trails. And once you complete all the different trails you'll you can mail in send your name in and they'll mail you a gift um, that should be going up soon that the the brochures and the equipment has started arriving here at City Hall and they'll get it all installed and it'll be a the interactive trail on top of the walking trail so another layer of the trail and the museum here seems to be really an integral part of this community mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. maybe one of the busiest museums around uh, anything growing there that you know about? Anything else well, coming there? Well, you know, the, we're being that they're a nonprofit, we're not really involved in their day to day. But you're right; they're they're big in helping us in the town. That's that's why I always say our nonprofits are such a big part of our community. The art center, the tennis association, the Belton Alliance, BEMA, they're they're always here and active and in bringing new things to the town. And looking ahead, what are some of the things that you and the council have identified as priorities for the maybe the first quarter of next year? Um, we are steady working on our funding to um, upgrade Leadapore Park. We want to build a new concession stand, bathrooms, press box, so we can start having more tournaments out of there. So that's high on our priority list. Um, getting these projects started with the $9 million is big on our list getting the pickleball courts rolling. So we, we've got quite a few things that, that are starting to get some legs and take off. Mm -hmm.